Spiny leaf soap thistle is a very common plant that you're going to find around your lawn, garden, on the edges of your yards, on the edges of fields and waste places, and even on roadsides. If we look at the top here, we can see all these little bitty flower buds coming out. We can see some, like the uh, one in the center of the frame right now, has already flowered, and there are some in the process of still flowering. If we look at the very top, we're going to notice all these different stems coming up with multiple flowers. Each one of these stems can produce up to five flowers per stem, so you can get a lot of flowers off of this plant. This plant has numerous ray-like flowers, as we can see here, that look a lot like dandelion flowers, except they are much, much smaller. Now let's take a look at the leaves of our spiny-leaved sow thistle. When we look at the leaves of our spiny sow thistle, there's a couple things that we need to keep in mind. One is that the leaves are going to clasp the stem just like we can see right here, how they clasp around this stem. You can see the leaf actually goes down underneath, the petiole of the leaf goes down underneath the top portion of the leaf. If we look along the margins of this leaf, we're going to notice all these little spines everywhere. This is partially where this plant gets its names and like many other thistles, have these spines. The higher up that we get on the plant, we're going to notice that these leaves get much, much smaller. So from the ground level, the plant leaves are going to be very large, and up at the top, they're going to get smaller and smaller. Another thing we're going to notice on the leaves of our sow thistle is that the leaves will alternate going up and down the stem. Now there are some variations to these leaves. So let's take a look at the basal leaves of the plant so we can get an idea on what those look like. Right here we can see one of the basal leaves of our sow thistle. We can see this looks a lot more like a dandelion leaf. This one does have some of the prickles and some of the spines running along the margins, but they're not as stiff as the ones on the top of the plant, like on this leaf here or this leaf up here. So the higher up you go on the plant, the sharper and stiffer those spines are going to become. This is one of the variations of leaves that we can see on this plant. Let's take a look at one of these top leaves for comparison. If we look at some of the leaves higher up on the plant, we're going to notice that the leaves actually become more lanceolate or more lance-shaped. And that's one of the variations that we're going to see compared to this leaf right here with very, very dull lobes that we can see. It's got these kind of little lobes on it. Kind of like a dandelion, but it's not as sharply lobed as a dandelion leaf is. If we look at the underside of the leaves, we're going to notice that they are lighter in color. And if we look at the petiole, we're going to notice this red sort of tinging, red pinkish tinging along the meristem or the midrib of the leaf. Here is another one of the variations of leaves that we can find. If we look at this one, we'll notice that it does have more lobes than the other one that we looked at earlier. We can also see the spines running along the margin here, and these are extremely stiff. You can see how stiff that is. And if you poke them, they are going to hurt you. Here we have one of the basal leaves off of another one of these sow thistle plants that we've been looking at. And this gives you guys an idea of just how large these leaves can get. And this is right from the base. So there's going to be a lot of variation not only in size but in shape. As we noticed earlier, the leaves on the very top of the plant can get extremely small versus the ones on the bottom, as you can see, are quite large. This guy's about the, uh, about the size of a small to medium sweet potato. Now your spiny leaf sow thistle will flower anywhere from April all the way up until August or September, depending on your location. It does have a very long flowering season, but once a specific plant flowers, it'll be in flower for about a month. So keep that in mind that each different colony of sow thistles will flower at a probably different time. So make sure you keep that in mind. These little tufts are actually kind of interesting. Uh, mainly because these are the seeds, but also because they can be used for the tips of blowgun darts. You can use it for the little end of the blowgun dart to help keep it secure in a blowgun. And this is one of the very popular ways that Native American tribes used to use the fluffs off of various thistle species. If we look at the stem of our spiny leaf sow thistle at the top, we're going to notice these little nudges, these little almost like spines, but they're not really spines and they're not really hairs. I call them little nudges because they're kind of bristly, but they're not sharp or pokey in any way. We're also going to notice that the stem is light green and perfectly smooth, minus those little nudges. However, this is from the top of the plant. Once you get to the bottom of the plant, a little lower, we're going to notice those nudges start to disappear. 
The spiny leaf silt thistle will get anywhere from about three foot all the way up to about four, maybe four and a half foot in height, but that's really rare. I usually find them anywhere from about two to three feet in height. Here we can see various spiny silt thistle plants that we can see some are in the process of flowering and some are in the process of producing their seeds. These seeds will go and drift along the wind just like a dandelion would. The spiny leaf silt thistle can get to about three and a half feet in height. I have seen them get to about four or even four and a half feet in height, but that is more rare than it is common. So keep that in mind that it's not a very tall plant, but it's not also a very short plant either. So that's how you guys can identify the spiny sow thistle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.